Welcome here at the South Point Arena Casino and Resort. After a thriller double overtime victory for the Concordia Moorhead Cobbers, fear the ear, Emily Beesman, yeah. as the uh, Cobbers defeat uh, number six Amherst, who had been undefeated here, the, the eight and zero at the uh, Classic over a number of years. First off, we got to talk about the game. You guys come, you guys have it tied. You have a chance to you tie the game at the end of regulation, a chance to win at the end of overtime. What was the difference in sec in the in the second overtime? Um, I think. In the end, we just wanted it more. We were able to push it up and down the court. We, Our stamina and our conditioning really helped us, I think. We weren't able to get as many fast break points, but we were able to push out of pace and get them out of their comfort zone. I think they're more of a team that wants to set plays, and basically they dictate how we play, and I think we really turned that around. We dictated how they went, and I think that was the turning point and change of this double single and double overtime. What's your coach like in the huddle? I talked with her a little bit off to the side. Is she fiery? Is she quiet? What's her What's her style? Well, I think it's it's a little bit of both. It's a good happy medium. I think it's a good fire when we need it to kind of yeah. get everything back together. But it's just a good calm and cool with her and then our assistant coach Porter and Coach Steven and Coach Fish. Yeah. I think it's just the perfect amount of what we need when we need to get yelled at and kind of crack the whip. She knows yeah. when to do, but it's just perfect what us girls need. Yeah. So you guys were supposed to be here last year. Last year ended up being kind of a rough season. You had a bunch of, you had a couple of long losing streaks. You finished eight and 16. This year now you're six and two. You're not on the off the radar anymore. You've beaten Gustavus, you've beaten Amherst, and you've played Bethel and Augsburg very, very closely. What's the difference between the two years? I'm not sure. I think last year we just didn't play how we wanted to. And this year we knew we needed to make a turnaround and. We knew last year wasn't the team who we wanted to be. We knew, we know our worth and we know our expectations of what we can be this year. And I really just think it's more of a mindset. Last year, I think we got in those long losing streaks and it's just, it was so hard for us to dig out of that hole. And I think this year, I mean, losing to Augsburg and Bethel, like those are tough, but we'll play them again at home and that's where we play our best. And even here, like this was a crazy game and on the road. So maybe that's the start of our good away streak. So you uh, are a senior on the team. Talk to me about your senior backcourt mate, Autumn Thompson. Oh gosh, I played with Autumn since my freshman year and it's it's just so fun. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it just sucks just seeing her, her on the court, having her to sit out, but I'm hoping it's just a one game thing. It's just, I think the connection, she's been a senior for leader for so long and on the court, I think she just calms and settles everyone down. I mean, a lot of us girls can get ramped up really quick, including myself. And she's kind of, along with Coach, the calm and cool we need. She doesn't get hurried up. She can be a quiet player. And even if she doesn't score, she it makes the biggest difference on her team. It's like you can totally tell when she's on and off the court. And she can just go all the time. It's, it's She's one of my best players. Uh, also very impressed by your sophomore forward today. There were a lot of people to be impressed by, but Michaela Anderson, Great footwork, a really good forward. Talk about her and her development from since last year. Yes, and Mac, I mean, it's so hard coming in as a freshman because you're kind of just like a fresh puppy. And I was there yeah. once too. You just kind of let him go. And she really just stuck out last year, like kind of had a step up this year as a post as uh, Mary Sem like can't play a starting post. And then we lost another post from last year. She kind of had to step up. And yeah, she's got quick footwork and she crashes the board so hard. She's a, a very like uh, good post for us that we need to have. What are you studying at Concordia Moorhead? Uh, healthcare administration. Okay. So, so what what comes next after after college? I know you're still. That's a, probably a question yeah. you get a million times. Right. What, thinking about it. Well, yes. Yeah, so I'll actually go another year next year. Just okay. I switch my major, so okay. I'll hopefully end up in like a hospital or medical facility, and near in the future, hopefully, on oh, whether it be nursing homes, assisted livings. Yeah. And there, yeah. And then last question for you, is this your, I assume this is your first time in Las Vegas? Yes. Okay. What are you guys going to do besides the uh, besides basketball? Um, well, I think kind of just spend time together as a team. We've been with each other, I mean, since practice on the day after Christmas and then up to here every day. I mean, we all have a blast with each other, but we went out to the strip yesterday. We went to Top Golf. I think okay. we're going to go bowling. Okay. Yeah. So just kind of spend time with the girls. That's where we love to be. Well, congratulations to Concordia Moorhead. A great victory over Amherst in double overtime here. Yes. You do have one more tomorrow. We'll we carry that one as well. Uh, Emily Beesman and for uh, the rest of the crew here at D3Hoops.com, this has been a D3Hoops Classic Conversation.